Welcome back on your Tuesday. Let's dive right into the deep end. It is a problem that continues to grow on our local freeways. Another late night shooting on I-5 shut down three southbound lanes and left one person in critical condition. Mo Hyder, thanks for joining us this morning. You've been pressing Washington State Patrol for more information on this. Any luck? That's how I just spoke to him. They told me the victim was actually headed southbound on I-5 around 11 o'clock last night when he was fired at multiple times. Now, the big question WSP is really trying to figure out, was this target or was this random? That's when the driver actually pulled over to the side and called 911. Fire crews actually got on scene and rushed him to the Harborview, where, of course, right now he is in critical condition. Another thing we're still waiting on, though, no description of a suspect or even the vehicle at this time. So right now, WSP and troopers are asking for the public's help. You know, it's just so alarming, Mo, and it seems like there's just too many of these to count, but we've covered a lot of shootings on interstates, uh, not just this year, but in years past as well. Talk with us about some of the recent shootings and, you know, how do these numbers compare to years past? That's right, Steve. Also, according to WSP, this marks the 11th shooting to happen this year alone on a King County freeway. Remember, earlier this month, there was one on I-5 near downtown Seattle. A bullet actually went through the driver's window. There's also one late last month, a drive-by shooting that happened on I-90. Now, according to data from the agency, they also say last year altogether, there were 57 freeway shootings in King County alone, and the year before that, in 2022, that number was 55. So you can see this is a concerning problem problem steadily on the rise. Yeah, those numbers are a concern. So what is Washington State Patrol doing to crack down on this violence? And you also mentioned that they're asking the public to help. How is that? Yeah, that's right. So they're conducting what are called emphasis patrols. So what they do is they watch out for any behavior that actually might be out of the ordinary. So that could be swerving in and out of the lanes, tailgating or speeding at an unusually high pace. Now, right now, they don't have a set time and date when they do that. They tell me they can only do that when they have the manpower. And the last time they conducted emphasis patrols was Friday. So they will continue to do that as long as they have the staffing to do so. They're also asking for the public's help in getting the suspect from the incident that happened overnight, getting any pictures or if they could provide any video as well uh, to hopefully find that suspect. It's just so disturbing that it's happened again. Mo, thank you. And you think about the difficulty of investigating these types of crimes uh, and really relying on witnesses when yeah. they happen. And, you know, thinking about the victim when they're in that situation after they've been shot at, some cases they, they're injured and have to go to the hospital. But, you know, unless they can get a description of the driver, unless there's some other drivers around um, that can pinpoint the type of car or you know if they can see what that shooter looked like these are really hard to track down because in some cases you know these these perpetrators are in stolen vehicles right and then you're on the freeway where drivers are already right. moving pretty quickly you yeah. know you got to catch that suspect's vehicle um, hopefully quickly but yeah certainly thinking about those victims and then as a driver too just how nervous this is or how, how much this is making people become nervous you know mm -hmm. while out there on the freeways it's one of those things, just have more situational awareness. Yeah. Uh, if you see something, say something. I know troopers have given this advice, you know, countless amounts of times, but don't engage in road rage. Be kind out there. Yeah. Uh, don't tailgate other people because you just never know how another person might react. One small little thing could just yeah. tick somebody off mm -hmm. and they, they bring out that weapon and shoot somebody. It's scary, really scary.